Hey, hi everyone. Today I'm going to do an unboxing for you of um, a shower. A shower, uh, I'll give you the model number and all that in a little while. But um, the shower, and I'm going to use it for an outdoor shower. I'm going to bring you back here and show you um, what my shower looks like right now. What I built out here. And um, let you know exactly what I'm trying to do. So this is an outdoor shower, backyard shower. This is what I'm doing, okay? Check it out. All right, so as you see here, this is my outdoor uh, bathroom area that I built. So this is what it looks like, okay? And it actually sits right next to my bar. This is the bar. But anyway, this, we're going to concentrate on the shower today first, okay? So this is the shower, and as you can see on the side, we've got a restroom also, a bathroom. But right now, we're going to look at the shower, okay? This is the space here. And, you know, you got your four walls here. And this is where I had the shower head. This is the old shower head right there, as you can see it. Okay, so I took that off, and I'm gonna put a new shower because I wanted to have more pressure. I wanted to people to be comfortable in it. I wanted to have hot water, and I'm gonna make it a little bit better, okay? So I got a mirror on this end. It's open on the top, completely open. You can see the sky. And this is my outdoor shower. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's kind of pretty cool. And everybody loves it. Everybody loves showering here, but I wanted to make it a little bit better upgrade it uh, from when I, when I originally built it. So we're going to do that now and I'm going to do an unboxing of this new shower for you. Okay, we'll install it. Okay, so here you go. This is the box it came in. It's pretty large size. Looks like um, a guitar case. But uh, this is this is the, the shower that I got. It's pretty large and it basically sits on the wall. You basically hook it up into the wall and um, I'm going to open it up here and we're going to see what's inside this box. Okay, there you go. Okay, so once you cut the box open, you know, it opens pretty easily. It has a handle when you carry it, so that's, that keeps it uh, the heavy part down. But here you go. This is what it looks like. It's in a nice bag in there. Looks like it's wrapped really nicely, and it's uh, packaged nicely. So we'll take this out now and see what it looks like, okay? This is what it, how it's packaged. So there's nothing on top here, but it's not going to move anyway because it's got this lip in this area. I like it's packaged very well, so we'll see what it, we'll see this uh, shower. It's a stainless steel shower. It's got a lot of a lot of additions to it. It'd be real cool. Let's see how this works. Okay, so I took out of the bag. It has a you know it's got this cloth bag that covers it. This is a stainless steel shower. I'm gonna use it. It's a you know beautiful beautiful shower, but I'm it's about 250 bucks on Amazon, but I'm gonna use it for um, my outdoor shower. This is what the back looks like. So it's got it's all wired, it's all hosed up, it's ready to go. Everything is ready to go. You just have to just screw it in to the wall, add your water, and it's pretty simple. So let's see what else comes in this box and see what other attachments we have. Okay, on the very end is a box. So this box I'm sure has the all everything you need, you know, silicone tape and all that, but let's see what's in this box and um and go over the materials we have. All right, well, here's an instructions manual that comes with the shower. That's kind of what it looks like. Pretty cool piece. These are the components that are in that little box. So you got a lot of other components. I'm sure everything is here to assemble it and everything is here to put it. You do have another uh, hose there and, and shower head. So it's really cool. It's got a lot of attachments. I um, hope the quality is good of these products and I hope it uh, lasts a long time. Well, the next thing we're going to do is put it all together and hook it up into the shower. Um, the instructions to me are okay they're not really great you have to kind of um, figure it out out of the stuff for yourself so I'm going to show you this piece here these all three come together in the set so these three pieces is what comes on there's a side little hole here okay so this is what goes in the side hole okay and gets attached to this hose here in the side okay before you put it in you make sure that you put this this washer on the seal washer to make sure the water goes in the unit, okay? Then you pop that on there, okay? And then you seal that, okay? You, you tighten them together. And once you tighten it together, the shower head goes on here, and then it just hooks onto here, the side is a hook for the shower head. So I'll show you that after um, getting it together. So this goes on like this, right? And then what you're gonna do is take this washer and you're gonna put it in the inside and tighten it here. Okay, and then you'll add the other washer to it. Okay, so that's what you do. You put this washer on there, you tighten it together. A lot of this stuff, you just have to hand tighten it, okay? So this piece here, see the white washer is in there, you can see it. 
you just hand tighten it. You don't need a, a, a special tool or anything. And now you take this washer, this one here, and you connect it to this piece here. That's what you do. You connect it to there. Okay? Okay, and so this area here, which is the top piece, you're going to use this shower head and this hose. So you put the hose on this area here and the other hose in the shower and this end. You just connect it together and that's all you need to do here. Just hand tighten it. If you need a wrench, you can twist it a few times, but don't go too crazy. So this is the way it's supposed to look. The hose, this is the end that goes on this side. And this is the end that goes on this side. And that's it. And this just hooks onto the side here. Okay. And this is what we use. Just like that. This is how it's going to go. Okay. So that just takes care of that part. So this is the way this piece is attached. So you attach it to there and to here. And that's how you attach it. And then you put the hook on the side. And this is where you hook the hook it up to the side. Okay. Okay, so this is what it looks like here. Once you hand tighten it, it should be okay. You tighten it as much as you can. If you need to use the pliers, you can, but don't tighten it that hard, okay? It doesn't need to be, okay? So this is how it works. It looks in the end, okay? So if you, need a if you need to tighten it, you can get a wrench like this, okay? And just tighten it just a little bit, but you don't need to do that much, okay? So just tighten a little bit, a little bit. That's all you need to do. Not too much, okay? Definitely. You can use a wrench like this. Don't don't get in there with a crazy wrench. Just use one of these. This is a good one, okay? All right, you should have these parts. Uh, these parts are for the spigot in the bottom, okay? So this is the one that goes underneath in the bottom. So there's a hole in the side here. This You use this piece here, same situation. You put it on here, same situation, just like this, okay? And you put that there. This does not have an extra hole because... This actually hose gets attached to the bottom. In the bottom here, there's a hose, there's a faucet in the bottom, and this goes attached to the bottom piece here, right here. That's where it goes. There and then to the side. Okay, so we'll do that now. Okay, so this side piece goes the same way. You just put it on the side. You put that washer in the middle there, that that that, that little blue washer, and you put it on this side like this. And there's nothing attached to this end. There's not, nothing attached here, okay? Just gonna use this as a hook to hook this piece on. That's all you're gonna do. It's a hook to hook this piece on. That's all you're gonna use it for, okay? So you hook that on there, and that's it. And this is to clean I guess, your feet or whatever you're gonna have on the floor, but this is on the bottom area, okay? So that's how that goes. And that's it. Now you should have just one more thing left, one more little bag of all your bags. And that little bag is these hooks. And these hooks are what you're gonna use to. Um, hold it onto the wall. So this basically goes onto the wall. You put it in your bathroom, in the house. You you don't need, you know, um, you need just to put it onto the wall and then just put this down, uh, put the unit down over it. These clips here on the sides where it's going to go. So you're going to measure from here. You're going to measure to this clip here. And that's where you're going to uh, fasten it to the wall. You measure from here to here. You put one on top. You put one at the bottom. Okay, and then you, once you fasten it, then you just attach it to the wall and drop it down. And these uh, little round ends here, it's going to go like this. They're going to snap in on, on the wall like this. When you put it on the wall, you're going to put it on like this on the wall. And when it snaps down, it's going to snap down over this little round curve here. That's going to keep it in place, this little round curve area. It's going to snap right down the middle. Okay, that's how you do that. Let's show you that too. All right, since I'm going into wood... I'm just going to uh, use regular screws to go in there. I'm not using any brackets to go into ceramic or nothing like that, okay? So you do is you make sure you measure um, to this area here. See, this is the bracket right there. That little groove in the middle is where it goes. So you measure from one end to the other end to the middle. You should get about four inches. So you make sure you measure where you're going to put the screws in four inches from that end so my line is right here is my spot that's where I will put the bracket right there in that spot and try to get the other one leveled right underneath so that's where I'm going with this and down here I'll make the holes to push um, the hoses through and then attach the hoses to the back of this so for me it's easy I'm doing an outside shower but you'll have to you know finesse it measure and try to get it right in your end Okay, well, I took the unit off of the wall, so I wanted to show you guys, um, I made a little roof there for it. This is so uh, the water won't hit it because the unit is open on top. You see the way it is on top? So it's open, so I decided to just make a little roof on there. So I just did something with materials that I had and built this little roof so to keep it covered so water won't go in. The next thing is I want to show you the bracket. So this is the bracket that hooks in the top. 
and then this is the bracket the hooks in the bottom okay that's how I set up the bracket as you can see that bottom bracket uh, doesn't have a screw in the bottom but I put a piece of wood in the, behind it and that piece of wood uh, will support the screw will go right through the piece of wood so I'll, I'll do that in a little while to show you the other thing is I wanted to show you is back here this is the, the unit in the back how it looks at all the wiring and stuff you see some electrical wires there but don't worry about that you don't have to do nothing with those electrical wires those electrical wires have a system in here it's right here the system and this does not work with batteries it does not work with electricity it works with water pressure the water pressure through this little unit here creates electricity and that is what give you the LED display and give you the LED lights on top so that's how that works so don't worry about that just make sure you don't pinch those wires or mess them up the other thing I wanted to show you about around the back obviously this is where the brackets go bracket one and bracket two okay they go down here the other thing is see these hoses here okay these are the hoses for the hot water and cold water and these are the intake hoses they come up to here you see that now I set it up and these are not good hoses they're cheap hoses from China they uh, already broke and started screening a leak so I went ahead and got new hoses okay so these are the new hoses I got them a little bit long these are 20 inches when the ones that came with the unit I believe are 15 inches so what you do is just you know you could take these off and replace them they come off very easily you use a wrench if you have to I already unscrewed them so you just take them off and put the new ones on okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that not to waste time on this video just show you how easy it is pop them off you just take the new ones and you pop the new ones on doesn't matter which way you put them there's no top way there's no bottom way now these are not marked um, hot or cold but what you do is once you get them on there okay with your hand tighten you grab a wrench okay and you take your wrench and you give it a little a little a little tighten not too much you don't have to do too much okay you don't even have to really do this but I would prefer to do a little bit of tightening with the wrench just to get it in a little tighter because you this once you get into this unit you're not going to be able to get back there again you know so it's better just to give it a good tighten until you're comfortable just not over tighten but you'll feel it when when it's when it's good okay so this is what you do just tighten it up put them in there okay so I'm gonna put them both on there and get back to the video on this okay here you go okay so once you get your hoses on there you could actually just take these off you don't need this on there you tighten them as good as you can and take your time with it and these old hoses you know you could check them and see if they're good um, you know and if they are good use them somewhere else or dispose of them but for me they were a little short I think a little longer is better it, it gives you more work uh, allowed to work better it's a little tight so even if you work in a bathroom in the house and you're gonna put it in the house bathroom this plate here this hole here if you do a house bathroom in your wall you're gonna to have to make a pocket for the cables they have to go in and you have to tighten them by hand so it's gonna be big enough you know where you can go in with your hand and put your two you know put your um, your piping in the back and you have to hand screw them in so you know when you do it at home just remember there's a lot of other steps you do at the house this is easier for me because I'm in the back of my yard and I have room to work but um when you do it at home just be careful with that okay so that's kind of how it looks I'm gonna take this now and mount it on the wall uh, right before I mount it I just want to show you all my piping in the back the way it looks now I have a separate line of hot water this is the hot water here okay and a separate line for cold water okay so the cold water comes in the hot water is a separate line is a hot water heater and what I did is I put valves on everything so I can work on everything I can shut it off and work on everything separately um, back here I also have other stuff going on back here this is a for my uh, misting unit and I have a shut off valve here this is for my um, uh, backyard um, hose water hose so I have a shut off valve here so when you do plumbing it's important to have a shut off valve wherever you can if you do this in your backyard you just need one water in and you just divide it to different areas and that's what I'm doing here so now we're going to pull this out through through this hole here the, the wires I'm going to put a little little uh, stick here in the back to, to divide it and to mount that bottom bracket in so that's what we're going to do okay okay guys so the shower is mounted the water is working everything is working good I'm going to try to stay away from this a little bit but the way you turn this thing on it's just from the middle valve here 
you got three valves. This top valves control where you want the water to come out through. The middle one is basically on and off, and the bottom one is hot and cold. So this, this, this is the mixing valve, okay? But as soon as you turn it on, see, there goes the water. Boom, coming out. Okay? And that's because it's set to there. You see, see the disc right there, the display working, the neon lights on top working. That's all produced through water pressure. No electricity necessary. So this thing is pretty awesome. So as soon as you got your hot water coming in, it will measure the temperature. And you can control your temperature of the hot water from this valve right here. So I got it set up for there now, but you do have other things here. You know, you have regular shower. There you go. Beautiful rainfall shower. You've got cascading. If I'm gonna get all wet, gotta turn it off. You've got everything shooting from the middle there, middle area. You've got water from the bottom. Okay, that's just the bottom. And you can use the side hose just by lifting this up. As soon as you lift this up, you've got the side hose there. See, so there's no water nowhere, only here. That's good for your feet, for your hair, wash the dog or something. This looks good, that's good for, okay? So that goes on there. You pop that down, water will come out. You shut it off from the middle valve here. It's off, see? No leaking, no water, no nothing, no problems. And as soon as you have your hot water connected, this is the mix valve. And this is all pretty cool. So you come all the way up here. There goes your cascade. And there goes basically the regular shower everybody uses, which is uh, rainfall. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, absolutely beautiful, and it works perfectly. So you have all these controls, and it is pretty awesome, guys. So I hope you guys do a great job installing it. Uh, if you buy it, it's a good product. I give it a great review. Let's see if it uh, outlasts the, the, the time um, in this backyard and the use. But other than that, I'm very pleased and very happy, and I hope you learned something from this video. And um, we'll do many more for you, but I hope this helps you. I'm going to put the model number and all that on the video so you can know exactly where I got it from. This was a purchase from Amazon. This was this came from Amazon. It's about $210, guys. And it's a very, very nice unit. So good luck with it, and I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, and thank you, thank you very much. Okay, so there you go. I've installed the outside shower. Hope you guys learned something from this. If you use this shower in the inside of your house, remember you have to do some extra work behind the wall. But the beauty thing is you don't have to do much plumbing. You just bring in a hot water line, cold water line. You don't got to run a pipe between behind the wall. You just hang this unit up, connect it in the two connections. So I really recommend it for the house. I bought it for the backyard to see how it works out. And eventually I will remodel my interior bathroom and use it there also. But right now, I want to see if it withstands um, the use, like I said, if it, everybody's happy with it. I'm going to connect the hot water next to it, and I'll show you that unit that I got from Wayfair and how that connection was done. But in the meantime, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you learned something. Everything is beautiful. It's a great day here in Florida, and uh, we'll talk again. Subscribe to the video, and this is Ray Anthony. Goodbye, everybody.